Hey guys, and welcome back to part 2 of the Forbidden Woods farming guide. Uh, for this guide, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be switching back and forth between this character, which is my new uh, skill build character, and my um, heavy arcane character uh, for this, because this is a huge area. Alright, so first what we're going to do, we're going to start at the uh, Forbidden Woods lamp that you come to at the beginning. And now that we've unlocked this place right here, we're just going to go right down. We're just going to go straight down. I have the same uh, loadout from last time, except for uh, my skill build character. I have the max vials plus one, the physical damage reduction, the echoes from slain enemies. Oh, wait a minute. Have I already talked to Voltaire? I probably need to do that while I'm here. Ah, don't forget cooperate. Oh, okay, so I actually need to equip my rune for him. Alright, we're gonna go down this little uh, elevator right here. Now, this place is one of the most confusing, one of the most long, and one of the most frustrating places I've ever farmed. But it's a good place to farm. That's Basically just because of these guys right here. Hate the snakeheads. They are pains in the ass. So for this section of the woods, I would have at least one rune uh, that gives you poison, like slow poison damage resistance, and garb that actually gives you uh, low poison damage. Because that is what will kill you here. If you don't have any of those, I would suggest saving some of the uh, souls you get for getting antidotes because they will be handy in this place also for starting this let me see where that place is so when you first get down here before you go down this way and pick up whatever's on there. You could actually jump off and go that way in order to find twin blood stone shards and an executioner. And I'm gonna put that clip in here in just a second. Alright, now we're going to continue down this way. We're going to pick up this right here from this guy. Thank you for the cold blood, we'll be using that later. And then we're going to run to the mini snake people. Hey guys! Don't like you. I love snakes, I just don't like these assholes. They're pretty easy to kill, you can kill them with your untransformed weapon with two hits depending on what you got. And, uh, how many shards you use to level it up. So actually for this place I would recommend using the rifle spear, the saw cleaver, also Ludwig's holy blade, uh, just because all these enemies in this woods are successful to thrust damage. It affects them very greatly. 
Let me see. Oop. But every single normal damage, like normal attack they use, will uh, get you poisoned. So that's why I said make sure you have antidotes, make sure you have that other stuff handy. Ugh. At first it's a pretty linear path down, but then it's going to separate and the woods are going to get bigger. Do, 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 do. Just make sure you check out both sides of the path, but pretty much just stay on the path. Make sure you check around the tombstones, sometimes there'll be an item there. And if you can hear that heavy breathing, that's the, actually the ex executioner that I killed with my other character earlier. Oh, hi. Hey, buddy. Now, this is definitely a great place to farm, just because of the sheer number of the enemies. You can also find uh, the uh, snake head guys, and also there's a giant pig here. So you're sure to get a lot of echoes from them. Hey, buddy. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, damn it. Make sure one of these guys doesn't grab you. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, fuck. Don't like you. Thank you. Booyah. Huh. Oh. Oh, and if you can ever get these things to go over those little campfires, they will burn to death, and it will feel very, very satisfying. And sometimes, occasionally, these little guys will drop, uh, murky blood gems. Which will actually give your items a poison damage boost. Will add poison damage to them. Oh, hi. God damn it. Assholes. Yeah, let's see. Anything up this way? Yeah, yeah, there is. Madman's knowledge comes in handy. And as you'll might have seen down there is we're gonna have the huge ones coming up. But make sure you get all back behind here. I would actually say around any of these tombstones there will be an item. And one of them is gonna be a rune that comes in handy later on once you fight start fighting uh, I think it's the winter lamps, I believe. I think it actually offers frenzy resistance. Fuck me. Okay. Let's some shards for gemstone. So basically for this, you'll want to stick to the right ledge going around till you get all the stuff. And a lot of good stuff you shall get. Yeah, fit over here. And then you'll want to move in from there. So let's get back on the path. Oh, and there you see one of the big guys, surrounded by a lot of the little guys. Here's one guy by himself. Hey. 
Oh god. Bye, little fucker. Sweet. Bloodstone shards up here. The cold blood on that guy. Um, the clear deep sea rune. That's the one that we were looking for. Alright, so from here I'm going to switch it off to my other guy. I'm going to get right back to where I was. With that guy. Hey, I'm back and I'm with my heavy guy. So now we're going to take this path back down here. I would not advise jumping in front of anything that you can't see. There will most likely be snakes there. Fucking writhing all of Oh, hi, there's a group of three of those right there. Oh, yay, we lured one out. Bye! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see if he gets out. Oh my god, I think he's stuck there. That's hilarious. So let me see. Come with that, me brother. That's new. Let you uh, turn off your lantern or your torch or anything right here. You might be able to sneak up on this guy. Voila! Alright. Oh, there he is. He came back up. Oh, I missed you, man. Now, in case you were wondering what was making all that goddamn noise down there, there's actually two snake masses down there, which, believe me when I say, is a pain in the ass. So we're gonna fuck with this guy. One more to finish this bag off. Yay, and now we got the little ones. Boom. 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 Alright. Now the ones down there I honestly wouldn't worry about, not except if you want to get like some more uh, echoes, but the echoes you make from here. You have a lot of opportunities to make them, a lot of enemies to make them. That just seems like an unnecessary hassle unless you want to go back after you've leveled up a bit. Capiche? Now, if I don't... Yeah, you see that right there? I'm going to make another video detailing that place. It's not like a place that would... It's, it's off the path 
towards the boss here. But it's just a cool place. I like to go and kill the blue things. It's very fun. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there, little buddy. Fuck. Try that again. Alright. So we're gonna get straight under this canopy. I think we will eventually run into more of those snake things. Definitely run into this guy. Watch out for this guy. He summons the little ones. You can hear we got a little piggly stopping around. Boop. Fuck you. And this is the path that will take us towards the exit that we want to go to. First, let's go kill the piggly. Shove the hand up the ass and rip it out. Yay! Blood balls. I hear a guy dragging an axe. Oh, there's another snakehead guy. That's where you get the graveyard kit. Not sure what that's good for. Honestly, don't have any fucking clue how to get up there. path up here. There's a little lookout. Here comes Piglet number two! for your orbs. Now if you go across this way to where you can see the little fireflies glowing around here, that lead, that's the path to the blue people. I will take you down there in just a second. In another video. But for now, we're just going to run across this way. There's going to be, I think, some kind of item surrounded by the little dead guys over there. We're going to run past them because this place is way too narrow to fight. I'm just run here, grab this madman's knowledge, and get the fuck out. It's honestly not worth it. Around here is Piggly number three. Piggly? Piggly, can, can you not? 
this feeling we got spotted in them. Thank you. Blood bottles. Sweet. This little area will lead kind of back towards that uh forested area with all the spot with all the uh the things, but this is definitely where you wanna go. This path right here leads to the boss fight. This is where you can summon Henrik, which I guarantee you do, because that will help out a lot in the fight against the three bosses. And this leads up to a path back to the forest, which is guarded by Snakehead Man. Thank you very much. Madman's knowledge. Oh, and you can summon a younger Madras twin here. Just make sure that you have the League rune equipped. And you can summon both of these guys to help you in that fight. Which you're gonna need. This path up here leads up to a ledge overlooking the forested area with all the big spider uh, sorry not spider but all the big spa snake masses and in fact there's one down below us here we're not gonna fuck with it just want to show you there if, uh, if you want to know where to go and that is pretty much it Let me think. Is there any? I think there's a way to. Oh yeah, there is a elevator here somewhere. Yep, there's the boss fight. All right, guys. So this is the place with the fireflies over here. Not gonna show it, but if you go that way, that's where all the little blue guys are. And if you go this way, I believe it leads to the, uh, the thing with the stuff. The elevator. Fuck. You. Bitch. He nearly grabbed me and that would not have been good. Whatever you do, don't let these guys grab you. It sucks, donkey balls. And voila! This leads you back in the chamber inside of the woodmill. Pretty cool. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll get you in the next one. It's me again. I am back, and I wanted to just show you the little area with the little blue guys because that is one of my favorite places in this place. All right, so here is the little pond here. Well, not really pond, it's just full of water that has all the little fireflies and stuff. That's the way we came. This is the way that we go to get to uh, the elevator. And the little blue guys is right over here to the left. Now for this, I would recommend uh, use the lock shield if you've uh, played through it before, if you've played through the DLC, because there's going to be some of the little blue guys who have this weird kind of tendrils coming out of their heads that they use to use magic. So if you have this, you can deflect it. If not, I would suggest definitely getting a lot of blood vials. So that magic sucks. Just gonna go through here. Little island up there. We'll get that in a second. Little blue man. And there's our first little blue guy with his bulbous head. Hey, dude. And you can see their other heads over the horizon. This would actually be a good place to grind for some arcane runes because they drop pretty frequently from these blue guys. Got that madman's knowledge. Sup, bitches?
Told you. Whew, damn. This guy's a pack and a punch. Oh, God. Oh, could you not, sir? Okay. Charge! Bye, bitch. Get some of those arcade blood stones. Three and four. Madman knowledge. Nothing else in this little place right here. There's one last guy right No, there's two guys. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. I think these are actually the children of the moon presence. They are fucking ugly. Alright, then stone for me. Whatever's on this guy, another madman's knowledge. Oh, hey, we had one more guy. Uh, 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 uh. Any more? I don't hear any more. Oh, one more madman's knowledge. Sweet, alright. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you. And another one.